In this problem, we need to graph y equals 3 halves x minus 4 using the slope and y-intercept. Hopefully, you remember the slope-intercept form of a straight line. And here it is, y equals mx plus b, where m, the coefficient of the x term, is the slope, and the y-intercept is an ordered pair. Its x-coordinate is always 0, and the y-coordinate comes from b in this equation. So let's compare y equals mx plus b to the equation we're given. This time we're very lucky. Our equation is given in slope-intercept form. So we can immediately look for the slope. The slope is the coefficient of the x, so the slope is 3 halves. And the y-intercept is the ordered pair. 0, comma, and the y-coordinate comes from b, so what is b in this case? It is negative 4. Now I can start to graph my line. We always plot the y-intercept first, so go to the origin. The y-intercept is 0, negative 4. x is 0, means go nowhere in the x-direction. y is negative 4, go down, negative 4. There is my y-intercept. Now I'm going to have to use the slope to find more points. Remember, the slope is equal to rise over run. So in our case, the rise is going to equal 3. That means I'm going to go up 3. And my run is going to equal 2. So we go left to right two units. So now if I start at my y-intercept, and I'm going to have to go up three, one, two, three, and to the right two. There's my next point. Up three, right two. Up three, right two. So you can see I have a nice straight line here. If I wanted some points over to the left of the y-axis, I would have to reverse both of these directions. So I would go down 3 and left 2. So that forms a nice straight line. So I'm now going to try and draw my straight line. So here's my straight line. If I can get it going through the points. And don't forget, put arrows on both ends. So now I have graphed the line y equals 3 halves x minus 4 using the slope and the y-intercept.